Hello everybody, my name is Subaru Beer and Beer Shine Slap, and today we're doing Radiance and Degrees Review. Radiance? Radiance? Well, they are essentially a way of measuring degree, degrees in a different way. So, for example, if we wanted an equivalence between radiance and degrees, then if we had zero degrees here, radiance would be zero. If we had 90 degrees, radians would be pi over 2. If we had 180 degrees, it would just be pi. If we had 360 degrees, it would be 2 pi. You see the pattern. So, there are many different things you can calculate using radians and degrees especially in trigonometry, but what we're going to focus on for now is trying to calculate the length in, uh, of an arc being intercepted by a central angle. You already know what this, uh, that is by now. We've made four lessons on it, two review lessons and two main lessons, so you should know what it is by now. And we're also trying, so we're trying to find the length of the, this, arc length, which is S, and we're also going to try to find the area. So, there are different ways of doing this for degrees and radians, but they both involve uh, pi, theta, and r. Well, uh, <coughs> theta and r. So, anyway, deg, rad, so now S and A for length and area. So how to find S for degrees? Well, we can find it in radians. It's actually pretty simple. Uh, data R or R data if you're a fancy guy. So anyway, <coughs> first of all, let's cover how to convert radians into degrees. So while converting radians into degrees is simple, Degrees to radians, simply multiply your degrees by pi over 180. And degrees is just uh, vice versa, not pi over 180, 180 over pi. So pi over 180 times that gives us pi r theta over 180. Or if you want to write it differently, 1 over 180 pi r theta. The Regents book I use personally wants to write it with pi on there, nothing else. So anyway, now what about A? Well, let me tell you a little secret. You know circumference of a circle, right? 2 pi r, and you know area of a circle, pi r squared. So, what if I told you, try and find a relationship between these two. And, well, how do we define circumference in terms of area? Well, circumference is 2 pi r, and area is pi r squared. So, essentially, mm, circumference is just pi r squared, but multiplied by 2, and then divided by r. 2a over r. Hmm. So, perhaps we can do the opposite. So, if we just rearrange the terms really quickly, we get r times c over 2. So, remember, circumference in our situation is defined as length because we're taking a parcel, not the entire circle. An area, of course, is only a part of the entire circle. So now, here is essentially our equation. Now, all we need to do is plug in S. So, S for radians would just be R theta. So we would get half R squared theta. However, what about degrees? Well, First of all, we have to multiply it by r and then divide it by 2. 
So that would give us 1 over 360 times mm, pi r squared because we multiplied by r then theta. Alright, so that's our review. Thank you everybody for watching. We'll see you in the next.